Hello, we are junior nursing students and through our public health nursing course we conducted a community assessment. The focus was the youth in Klamath County and their health influences. The youth that we assessed for this project were students of Henley High School. The two topics addressed were place matters and tobacco. At the conclusion of gathering data, we are hoping to partner with community leaders to encourage change among the youth in our community. The first step was to collect secondary data about the county and the schools. Then a windshield walking survey was completed to gather information on the infrastructure of the community and its neighboring areas. Focus groups were conducted with students in the schools. Questions were asked about the health, the needs, and assets of their community and school, and also a tobacco assessment. Key informants, which included school staff and administrators, were also interviewed. The data, along with interviews, will be presented to community leaders on Wednesday, May 27th, at the Community Health Education Center. The City of Klamath Falls was established in 1905 and well known for its forests and rangeland. In the 1920s, Klamath Falls was the fastest growing city in Oregon until the Great Depression of 1929, which brought the lumber boom to an end. Klamath is located in the south central region of Oregon and borders northern California. It sits on the southern shore of the upper Klamath Lake and is settled in the Klamath Basin on the eastern slopes of the Cascade Mountains. The nearly 21,000 Klamath Falls inhabitants enjoy 300 days of sunshine each year. Henley High School has 664 students enrolled. 40% are enrolled in honors classes and the school has an 80% graduation rate. 33% of the student body are economically disadvantaged. Henley has a reputable athletic program and in 2013, U.S. News and World Report named Henley High School one of America's best high schools. Sports and agriculture were named the two best assets of the school, although not every person in the focus group participated in either activity. The students felt safe at school and in their community, but vocalized that this was not the case for all students. Henley is well known for their athletic programs and have won 241 conference titles and is home to two Olympic gold medalists. They have the only junior ROTC program east of the Cascades along with a variety of extracurricular activities and 20 varsity sports teams. Along with sports, Henley High School offers programs such as peer counseling and mediation, choir, band, drama, Math Club, and Future Farmers of America. The highlights at Henley High School include an increase in the graduation rate by 7.8%, 40% of the students are enrolled in honors courses and 32% of them are earning college credits. They have a 35-acre agricultural lab, there are multiple theatrical performances each year, and in the 2010-2011 school year, it reduced its energy use by 72% and annual energy costs by 52%, which saves a total of $85,000 per year. They did this by using geothermal heat, adding insulation, and replacing old ductwork. After researching and gathering data about Klamath Falls and Henley High School, we wanted to find out how the youth at Henley felt personally. We did this by conducting a focus group with students that were selected to participate and having them also participate in a photo voice project. Photo voice is a participatory research method that enables populations to voice their needs and assets for the purpose of social action or change. The voice that will be depicted in the following slides are that of the students at Henley High School who participated in our focus group. These pictures were taken by the students and represent what they felt was important about their surroundings. Food was a large focus of the students. 
Henley is close campus, so there is no access to restaurants or other options for lunch. The student stated that the portions and substance of the meals provided in the school cafeteria are inadequate and the cafeteria food lacks flavor. Thoughts about tobacco products were that they are easy to purchase, lots of people use them, there's a family influence, students can use e-products indoors which makes it more convenient, the products have a candy-like flavor, and cigarettes may help you lose weight. The school's needs addressed by the students were an upgraded weight room, more activities in clubs, closer sports facilities, a new cross-country path, life skills training such as a financial planning class, and rodeo events within the school. During the key informant interviews, we learned that tobacco use was said to be prevalent within the school, mainly chew. There's a large rural population and parents were said to use tobacco products. There's a growing popularity of e-products. Students can hide chew tobacco in boots and students are suspended and issued an MIP if caught. The assets of the school were stated to be a supportive parent group, a strong staff unit, and a community feel within the school. We presented our findings to the faculty and staff of Henley High and at the Healthy Klamath meeting on May 27th. Our presentation was well received by both groups. The principal at Henley was interested in finding ways to implement tobacco cessation on campus. The community members felt that our research was valuable and voiced hope for the needs of the youth in our community to be met. In summary, Tobacco and e-cigarettes were said to be very common in the school and that chewing tobacco was very popular at Henley. Students commonly used tobacco products at school and in the classrooms. E-products were thought to be a healthier alternative and were appealing because of the flavors and colors. One student stated that he knows the risks but doesn't care. The cafeteria food was a main focus brought up by the students and they felt that the proportions and substance of the meals were inadequate. They also thought that the food lacked flavor. Henley is a closed campus, so the youth do not have access to other options for lunchtime. The students discussed options for more activities and clubs for the schools and wanted something to do after school to stay out of trouble. They discussed art, theater, and shop classes they also wanted sports facilities to be closer so they had less travel time, a rodeo club within a school, and life skills classes that would prepare them for the future, such as financial planning. We would like to thank the students and staff at Henley High School for their participation in this community assessment.